Hello, there we are. We will begin in a few minutes, but before we do, I wanted to start by introducing to you James Newcomb from the Tri Township Park Board President. If everyone will please rise and bow your heads for the invitation by Pastor Kent Wilson of Crossview Church. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful weather, this wonderful day. Lord, we also want to ask your presence to be here as we remember those men and women that fought for our country and gave the ultimate sacrifice. We ask the Lord Jesus to be with us and help us to remember at all times also your sacrifice. Would you come for us? Be with us, we pray, as we celebrate the lives of those that have given their all. Thank you, Jesus. I'd like to welcome Scouting Troop 8038B and G for the presentation of the colors. Color Guard Advance. Guard post the colors. Please join me in the point of allegiance. Color guard, return the post. Welcome everyone. We are so happy to see everybody here on such a beautiful evening. Looks like we just skirted that rain. I think we've had enough of it. Um, it's a beautiful night out and we want to thank you for taking time out of your holiday celebrations to remember those who have died fighting for our freedom. At this time, I'd like to welcome Sharon, Mark, and Patty from the Troy Community Band. Hi. 
Hi, thank you for having us. I'm one of the seasoned members of the Troy Community Band. We are under the direction of Mr. John Malvin. We've been together for, I don't know, 30, 40 years now. So we are proud to be here and present to you a concert tonight. Uh, just a few words from Dr. Mark Connor. He's one of our trumpet players and he's a composer, writer, so he's just got a few words for you about Memorial Day. I just want to take a moment while you're listening to the music tonight to consider what the holiday is. The music is entertaining and it's it's fun, it's flag waving, and, but I like to think about this as while I'm playing, I like to imagine what this is really about. For me, it's about men like Robert Monroe. Um, he was 62 years old when he gave his life for the country. He was one of the first eight men killed in the American Revolution. Um, I am humbled by that thought that this man gave his life for freedom and he never got to see even one day of the revolution past its beginning. He was among the first killed, and, but his sacrifice led to what we have here today. And so while we play today, I wanna to thank you all on behalf of the band, but while we play today, please keep men like Robert in your hearts and your minds. Thank you. Our first number is going to be Star Spangled Banner. But let me remind you, we're a Troy community band. We meet every Tuesday. We welcome other people, new people. John always does this. I got to do John's part. Um, we would love to have you dust off those horns. We also have a website. Don't hesitate to check out that website. Our next concert should be June 28th at 7 o'clock at the gazebo, which is like straight across from there. Thank you very much. Patty's going to announce the numbers like by in three so that we don't have to interrupt all the time. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy your concert. Everyone, please stand for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a seat. Let's enjoy the music today. Our first number is going to be The Washington Post by John Philip Souza. 
Let's go, John. Let's go. <laughs>
song, you could almost close your eyes and see yourself sitting there when it was being produced. The next song is going to be Let Freedom Ring, arranged by Paul Jennings.
next song is Midway March by John Williams. Next piece is called Americans We. We're going to 
written in 1929 by Henry Fillmore, dedicated to all of us.
Ladies and gentlemen, this song is a participation song. It's the America's Finest song, a musical tribute to the armed forces. So, it's got the case on the song, the anchors away, Marines hymn, Eternal Father, United States Air Force, Semper Paratus, and if you're able to stand up on your call, including your family members, just stand up and show. Okay, so get ready, okay? And the family's making a big sacrifice too. So let's go, Mr. Melvin and the band.
ladies and gentlemen, this will be our last number. It's the Stars and Stripes Forever, the official march of the United States of America, and the most beloved march in American history. Enjoy.
is my pleasure to introduce to you our speaker for the night. He is a Vietnam veteran and a member of the Troy Lions Club, Timothy Greenfield. Well, it's going to be a hard number to follow that community band. Timothy did a good, terrific job for us tonight. Today we celebrate Memorial Day. As a veteran and citizen of our great country, we have a solemn duty that is spotlighted this month. Today our nation observes Memorial Day, the time all citizens should pause, reflect upon, and remember those men and women who gave their lives for the defense of our great nation. Many Americans might view the Memorial Day weekend as time off from work to enjoy with their families. As veterans and citizens, it is incumbent on us to instill in all Americans why this day is celebrated and the emphasis that it is a time to show reverence for human losses in war. Freedom is not free, and we owe our liberty to those who gave all they had, their lives. Sacrifice is meaningless without remembrance. It is upon those of us who survived the war to carry that gauntlet. On Memorial Day, I encourage leaders of all of our levels of the military branches, our government, and the citizens of our great country to pay tribute to those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Your example can set the trend for your community and for our future generations. Our nation and its citizens owe a debt of gratitude to the men and women in uniform who sacrificed their lives for the rest of us. Make sure you do your part in remembering them as we live free. As you arrived today, you received a red poppy. The red poppy came to be a symbolized the bloodshed on during the battle. Flanders Field was a major battle theater in the Western Front during World War I. It was on this battlefield that Lieutenant Colonel John McRae wrote an now famous poem in Flanders Field in 1915. In Flanders Field, in Flanders Field, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row that marks our place. And in the sky, the lark still bravely sings Fly scared, heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw our torch. Be yours too high. If ye break the faith with us who die, we shall never sleep though poppies will grow in Flanders Field. The poppy became an official flower of the American Legion family on September 27, 1920. The poppy more memorizes the soldiers who fought and died during the war. In closing, the final statement that I have to say is for me. Only two defining forces have ever offered to die for me. Jesus Christ and the American soldier. One died for my soul and the other died for my freedom. And I thank them both every day for the life that I have in this great country. With that, I'll conclude my talk.
scouts with the uh, torches. You can start lighting the candles as you work your way toward the center of the podium. You're still waiting for a light. Raise your hand. Thank you. Don't go too far. Once again, we're going to need Bree and Jane to retire the colors.
Once again, I'd like to welcome Pastor Kent Wilson from Crossview Church to the closing prayer. Heavenly Father, again, we say thank you for this occasion. We know it's solid, serious, but we also know that it is a joyful occasion knowing that we have people who give their lives for our country. We ask you, Lord, that you would bless those that are here, bless the family members that are suffering. We ask that your peace and that your joy would flow through them, and that we would reach out to those around about us, just as you would have us. We ask you to be with us. I want to thank everyone for coming tonight, and we are going to be closing out the ceremony with the Troy Community Band playing taps. Our service. Thank you.